Yo, what's up? This is a video update for my vocal chain rack. Now using only built-in effects since Ableton 12.1, we now have the auto shift for pitch correction, harmony, and uh, format shifting. Let's check it out. Okay, so here I have a beat. Let me turn off the rack so we can hear the original vocals. It's really bad. I'm gonna give you one part when I'm kind of rapping and one part when I'm kind of singing so we can see both examples. So this is without, I just have a utility here to boost the volume because the rack with the compression and everything does have a volume difference between the dry. Let's check it out. Okay, now with the rack, let's check it out. When you get the rack and you load it, you only have to set up the key right here. And my beat is in C major, so I don't have to change anything, but change the key to the key of your track. Nice. We'll go over the, the macros for just a second. Here's a section where I sing. Let me copy this utility here. Turn off the rack. Let's check it out. Uh, no rack. I'm singing horribly and out of tune, but uh, again, the rack. That's what the rack is for. <laughs> and with. Maybe with context with the music. Uh, we'll listen with the music in a second. Um, let's check out the rack here. If we open it up, uh, we have all these built-in effects that you don't really have to expand. We'll expand them just to check it out. You already have the map to the macro. First one is the gate, so you can eliminate any noise in between the, uh, the vocal. Uh, it's automatic. You can adjust it with the gate threshold. The auto shift again is the only one that is expanded just so you can change uh, the root note and the scale, maybe the input uh, range if you have a higher or lower voice and anything else you might want, but that's uh, mostly it. And the smooth, if you want, I'll show you with my ad libs what I do. We have a pre EQ here just to clean up compression. Um, we used to use a free plugin with the old version, which you can still get, uh, but now we're using the Roar to add some brightness, uh, some extra saturation, mid-side EQ, multiband compression. We have now the Harmony Rack. We used to use the, I used to use the Little Alter Boy plugin from uh, Sound Toys, but now we can use the Auto Shift for some harmony. So you can emphasize that as much as you want. And lastly, we have the Space Rack with reverb, slap delay, and echo. And reverb. Nice. Uh, now, you can throw this on any vocal track that you have. For example, here in the ad libs, I have the same rack. I just have a filter on it. Uh, for the ad libs, I did took the smooth down so it's a much more hard tune with the pitch correction. Let's turn it up so you can hear it. Nice. So now in context, let me just turn Ev all the racks on. Yeah, sweet. Uh, let's check it out in context with the music. If you already have it, the previous version, just go on Gumroad and download the newest version. If you have 12.1, you don't have to use the, the Autotune plugins, the Air plugin, all of those. Everything is built in. And if you wanna, if you still haven't got it, check it out, the link in the description. I'll catch you next time. Vedim sogli kindly, vedi kakam selfie, bonas se popali. Yeah, kola bahura!